Hello students, welcome back. Today we are going to solve short answer questions. The chapter is the fundamental unit of life. That is biology class 9 chapter 5. So grab a notebook and a pen and write the answers yourself so that you can evaluate how well you are prepared. So let's get started. The first question is who proposed cell theory? Do you know the answer? Then quickly write in your notebook and give 2 marks for each correct answer and 0 mark for each wrong answer. Let's see who proposed the cell theory. Cell theory was proposed by T. Schwann and M. Sladen. It was modified by Rudolf Virchow. Do you remember what cell theory postulates? It says cell is the smallest unit of all living things. Cell is the structural and functional unit of all living things. All cells arise from pre-existing cells. Okay, let's see the next question now. Which organism is called powerhouse of the cell? And second, suicide box. I'm sure you know the answers if you have watched my videos. So let's see what is the powerhouse of the cell? Mitochondria. Because it generates ATP, that is the energy currency of the cell. And what is suicide bag? Lysosomes. Why? Because they help in the lysis of abnormal cells by bursting out and lysing the cell. Because it destroys itself to lyse the cell, it is called suicide bag. Next question. Name two organelles that have their own genetic material that is DNA and ribosome. Did you write the answer? Yes. Mitochondria and plastids. Mitochondria are found in both animal and plant cells and plastids are found only in the plant cells. Question 4. State two important functions of nucleus. One of the important function is nucleus contains all the genetic information for the cell and also for the whole organism. And second function is nucleus functions as the control center of the cell as it controls all cellular activities. Question 5. State two differences between nucleus and nucleolus. So what are the differences? Nucleus is the functional region of a cell. Nucleolus is a part of the cell. Nucleus contains hereditary information and controls cellular activities. Why did we say it contains hereditary information? Because it contains the chromatin material which forms the chromosome and within the chromosome DNA is present and DNA has genes. While nucleolus takes part in synthesis of ribosomes. And do you know why ribosomes are important? Because they can synthesize protein. Question 6. Name plastids which store starch, oil and protein granules. You know the answer? Let's see. Leucoplast. The colorless plastid stores starch, oil and protein granules. When starch is stored, it is called amyloplast. When protein is stored, it is called alluroplast or proteinoplast. When oil is stored, it is called elioplast. Next question. Name the organelle which is able to destroy a damaged, old and worn out cells. Yes, you are correct. It's lysosome. It bursts out and destroys the damaged cell. That's why it is called suicide bag. Lysosome also lies and disposes damaged cell organelle. Who discovered cell? Give an example of unicellular organism. Robert Hooke discovered cell in 1665. But remember, he saw dead cells under the microscope. An example of unicellular organism? Amoeba, paramecium are unicellular organisms. Name the organelle which has membrane bound sac filled with powerful digestive enzyme. Write one function. Of course, by now you know the answer. Lysosome. And the function is it helps in intracellular digestion and disposal of worn out cell organelle. Intracellular digestion means within the cell digestion. State the full form of ATP. ATP is called adenosine triphosphate. It is called the energy currency of the cell because it provides the energy to the cell. Name the organelle other than mitochondria which has its own DNA and ribosome. Plastids. Mitochondria and plastids both have their own DNA and ribosomes. State the function of ribosome. Ribosome is responsible for protein synthesis. And where this ribosome is produced? Within the nucleolus. Why do eggshells dissolve in dilute hydrochloric acid? Eggshells are made of calcium carbonate which reacts with hydrochloric acid 
and forms soluble calcium chloride and as a result of which it dissolves. Name the functional unit of DNA that carries the genetic information. The answer is gene. Within the DNA, genes are present which carries the genetic information. Name the organelle responsible for intracellular transport. Endoplasmic reticulum helps in the intracellular transport that is within the cell transport. Name the process through which amoeba acquires its food from the external environment. Endocytosis Endocytosis is a cellular process in which substances are brought into the cell. Endo means inside. Cytosis is a transport mechanism for the movement of large quantity of molecules. So, amoeba acquires food from the external environment by the process of endocytosis. In what way prokaryotic cell is different from eukaryotic cell with respect to nuclear membrane? Nuclear membrane is absent in prokaryotic cell and present in eukaryotic cell. Because prokaryotic cells have a primitive nucleus and eukaryotic cells have a true nucleus. Name the plastid involved in conversion of green brinjal to violet. So it becomes violet from green. Which plastid? Chromoplast. That is the non-green chromoplast. Name the phenomenon of losing water by leaving plant cells through osmosis. That is water is going out. It is called exosmosis. Exo means outside and we know osmosis is the movement of water from an area of its higher concentration to an area of its lower concentration through semi-permeable membrane. So within the cell a semi-permeable or selectively permeable membrane is present and the water is going out through it. So it is called exosmosis. Identify single celled organism from the following. Cockroach, Chlamydomonas, snake, mosquito, bacteria. Cockroach is a big organism. It is a multicellular organism we know. Chlamydomonas is a single celled organism or unicellular organism. On the other hand, bacteria is unicellular organism. So unicellular organism or single celled organism are Chlamydomonas and bacteria. Name two organelle having membrane envelope. Mitochondria, it has double membrane and lysosome, it has single membrane. Basically, all organelle in eukaryotes have envelope or membrane. Name the factor which decides the movement of water molecule across the plasma membrane. Difference in the concentration of water inside and outside the cell decides whether the water will move inside the cell or outside the cell. So the factor is difference in the concentration of water inside and outside the cell. List the constituents of plasma membrane. They are phospholipids, protein and small carbohydrates. State the reason why cell membrane is called selectively permeable membrane. It allows entry and exit of certain substances and prevents the passage of remaining substances. That is, it selects what will enter and exit. That's the reason it is called selectively permeable membrane. Name two components of chromosome. Of course, you know the answer. DNA and protein, basically histone proteins. Name two cell organelle having double membrane envelope. One is mitochondria and the other is plastid. Do you remember the structure of them? They are very important from examination point of view. So students have a clear idea about the structure of plastid and mitochondria. Mention the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell in terms of nuclear region present in them. Genetic material is present within a true nucleus in eukaryotes and in prokaryotes, it is present in the cytoplasmic region called nucleoid, which is actually not a true nucleus. So, in terms of nuclear region, the genetic material that is the DNA is present within the nucleus in eukaryotes and in prokaryotes, it is present in a place within the cytoplasm called nucleoid. Name the cell organelle that detoxifies poison and drug in the liver of vertebrate. Answer is smooth endoplasmic reticulum or ACR. Name the kind of plastid that is important for photosynthesis in leaves of the plant. Chloroplast, which are actually green chromoplast. I am not going into very details in this question answer session. If you want to know in details about any organelle, refer to my videos. I will provide the link in the description 
and also in the comment section. There is a full playlist in my channel where you can see all the videos of class 9 chapter 5 the fundamental unit of life. Question 30. What is the difference between protoplasm and cytoplasm? Protoplasm is a jelly-like complex cell mass. Cytoplasm is a translucent liquid. The total of cytoplasm and nucleus is protoplasm. So cytoplasm is a part of protoplasm and cytoplasm contains cell organelles. What is the difference between plant cell and animal cell? In plant cell, cell wall is present. In animal cell, cell wall is absent. In plant cell, centriole is absent. In animal cell, centriole is present. Plastids are present in plant cell. Plastids are absent in animal cell. Name the main constituent substance present in the cell wall and state the function. Cellulose is the main constituent substance present in the cell wall and it provides mechanical strength and rigidity to the cell wall. Question 33. Mention the changes in human red blood cell when they are placed in hypotonic sugar or salt solution. RBC will continue to swell and ultimately burst. What happens when the external solution is dilute that is hypotonic compared to the cell's internal water concentration then water starts to enter the cell as a result of which the cell will swell and ultimately it will burst. So this process is called endosmosis. Endo means we have learned before inside and osmosis is the process by which water moves from a region of its higher concentration to a region of its lower concentration. So in a dilute solution that is hypotonic solution, water is much higher so it will move from outside to inside. And what is hypertonic solution? When the external solution is concentrated compared to the cell's internal water concentration, then it is called hypertonic solution. When a living plant loses water through osmosis, there is a contraction of the contents of the cell away from the cell wall. What is it called? This is called plasmolysis. So the plant is losing water through osmosis. That is water is going out of the cell. So it will occur due to exosmosis. Exo means outside and we have just learned what osmosis means. So plasmolysis is a phenomenon which happens when exosmosis occurs in plant cell. Next question. Identify the name of the following structure. The undefined nuclear region of prokaryotic cell. What is it called? Nucleoid. And the site of energy release inside the cell? It is the mitochondria because it produces ATP, the energy currency. Name the process of building of cell membrane. It is called cell biogenesis. Mention the commonly used name for cell membrane. It is called plasma membrane. Which process plays an important role in gaseous exchange between cells? The process is called diffusion. And what is diffusion? Diffusion is the process of movement of substance. See, this is not water. In osmosis, it is the movement of water. But in diffusion, it is the process of movement of substance which can be solid, liquid or gaseous from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Why chromatin fiber or chromatin material organize themselves into chromosomes? We have seen during cell division, the chromatin material organize themselves into condensed structure called chromosome. Why do they do so? for equal distribution of genetic material during cell division. State the site of manufacture of fat molecules in the cell. It is smooth endoplasmic reticulum manufactures fat molecule. State the function of ribosome and centrosome. Ribosome is responsible for protein synthesis and centrosome is responsible for cell division. Name the membrane surrounding the vacuole. What it is called? It is called tonoplast. What is the basic unit of life? That is what is the fundamental unit of life? That's what we are learning, the cell. State one point of difference between the following pair on the basis of what is indicated in the brackets. Centrosome and chromosome location. That is according to location, what is the difference between centrosome and chromosome? So according to location, centrosome is present in the cytoplasm near the nucleus in animal cells and chromosome is present inside the nucleus. We know centrosome helps in the process of cell division by forming microtubules and chromosome are the vehicle which carries the genetic information from the mother cell to the daughter cell by the process of cell division. State the function of chloroplast and Golgi bodies. 
chloroplast help in photosynthesis by trapping the light energy that is solar energy and because of the process of photosynthesis the plants produce food and the byproduct is oxygen which we breathe and golgi apparatus takes part in storage modification and packaging of various products for delivery to different parts of the cell right the function of chromoplast that is non green plastid non green chromoplast imparts color to the fruits and flowers and the green chromoplast that is chloroplast helps in the process of photosynthesis match the following in column a we have ribosome vacuole cell membrane centriole and nucleus in column b we have the functions they are involved with like cell division protein synthesis regulates growth of the cell store excess water and to an exit of substances in and out of the cell so what is the function of ribosome it helps in protein synthesis vacuoles store excess water cell membrane entry and exit of substances in and out of the cell centrioles cell division and nucleus regulates growth of the cell because it is the control center of the cell next question find the odd one out cell wall centrosome plastid ribosome so the odd one out is centrosome centrosome is present in animal cell and is absent in plant cell while cell wall plastid and ribosomes are present in plant cell state whether the following is true or false ripe tomatoes are red in color due to the presence of carotene yes that is true ripe tomatoes are red in color due to the presence of the pigment carotene inside the chromoplast question number 47 state the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell in prokaryotic cell organized nucleus is absent In eukaryotic cell organized nucleus is present prokaryotic cell has single chromosome eukaryotic cell has two or several chromosomes question 48 choose the odd one out and mention the category for the rest centrosome ribosome cell wall lysosome answer is cell wall cell wall is found only in plant cell while others are found in animal cell that is centrosome ribosome lysosomes are found in animal cell while cell wall is only present in plant cell so the odd one out is cell wall choose the correct answer and complete the following statement human cells contain dash number of chromosomes 12 pairs 24 pairs or 23 pairs you know the answer right it is 23 pairs that is 46 chromosomes question 50 state whether the following statement are true or false genes are present in the centrosome of course it is false Genes are present in the chromosome and not in the centrosome. Question fifty one. Write the function of chromosome. It transmits the hereditary characters from the parents to the offspring. That's why chromosomes are called hereditary vehicle. Question fifty two. Find the odd one out. Centrosome, ribosome, cell membrane, mitochondria. The answer is mitochondria because it has its own DNA. and the other organelle do not have their own dna so students are you confident now that you know all the answers very nicely let me know in the comment how much did you score did you answer all of them correctly and did this question answer session help you if yes let me know in the comment i will make more videos on the question answer session and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates see you soon